Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here in front of my chickens, having my coffee. And guess what? I prayed yesterday for something, and you know what happened? I prayed for rain, and guess what? God is good. It is raining. Oh, praise be. Yep, my garden needs it. Definitely needs it. Yep. It rained, so I've gotten out of my jammies, and it's supposed to rain again today, and it's supposed to be cooler today, so I've got a th few things i got to do. I am making more bug spray because I'm completely out of it, and despite me putting um, flea and tick drops on Papa, I have pulled off a couple of ticks off of him, and they weren't dead. So um, I'm making a spray and it's going to include the lemongrass oil that Doreen sent me and all the other stuff but it's just going to be kind of doubled up and I got some new coconut oil and it's that kind that stays liquidy and it's totally, I got it from the dollar store and all it is is coconut oil, it's got grape seed oil, grape seed oil which is also good to use, I think it's got some glycerin in it which would have been another choice um, so I'm going to use that. And, um, well, I think I need to go find some mushrooms because I, I have just been craving chanterelle mushrooms lately. And I got to process some wood, so let's see if I get all that done. Look at what I had to do. Because the chickens were getting in underneath of this, I need to staple this on a little bit better. But, yeah, this works. It's been keeping them out of the yard. And that was just a scrap. My sunflowers are blooming. I'm going to have sunflowers, you guys. I tell you what, I wish I had planted a whole lot more sunflowers. I didn't think I could get them to grow, but they are growing and they are beautiful. Look at all those herbs. Same herbs as before. I even cut off a few of the little flowers from the beauty berry plant. And instead of pouring the boiling water over the, you know, top of the herbs and putting it in a glass, I just went ahead and I put all the herbs down in there. Brought it to a boil and now it's steeping and it smells so good. And it's basically a double recipe this time. So I doubled everything that was in it before. And I'm going to use a bunch of this in it too. Probably around 20 drops I'm thinking. And this is the lemongrass that uh, Doreen sent me. And it smells wonderful. This is the coconut oil that I got from the dollar store. The dollar tree. And you can see it remains liquidy. And like I said it's got... Coconut oil, uh, what else? Grapeseed oil, glycerin, soybean oil, and mineral oil. That's pretty awesome, just for a buck. So, yep, a couple tablespoons of this. I think four. I think I used four. Yep. I'll give you guys the whole recipe again when it's all done. See this little solar emergency light alarm thing, motion detector? I let it charge up all day, and then I set it down right about here whoops <laughs> last night so that it would alarm if anything came by and guess what something alarmed it did come by at about 4 a.m. and by the time I got out here it was already gone it lights up let's see if I can get it to do it again Nope, not going to do it. But um, I was thinking of getting one of those little solar-powered owl thingies. And oh, let me get this trash. And putting that out here. Um, or maybe even some ornamental crows or owls or something like that. Just to keep the critters scared away from this area. Um, but you know what? I think this is going to work because it scared away whatever was going in front of this coop. And I tested it. I walked all the way behind that coop. And it set the alarm off. So that's pretty awesome. Looks like it's raining again. So it looks like my wood gathering plans are being thwarted. That's okay because it's beautiful and it's raining and it's cool. I'm just going to sit out on my porch and kind of chill out. I may go inside the tiny house and do some stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to enjoy the blessings coming down from the sky. Look at that. Ain't it pretty, you guys? Oh, this is a good rain. I am going to get a full rain barrel, full water tote, full rain barrels. Oh, this is such a blessing. These chickens <laughs> in the rain. Oh my goodness. Olive was out here earlier squawking like she was upset. Where would she go? Oh, I hope Miss Pris is keeping her babies safe. I think they're under there. 
Oh no, she's brought them out. Okay, I gotta help her. Oh goodness. All right, Miss Pris, come on. I'll help you. There we go. Okay, come on, babies. There you go. She pushed through that cardboard fell. I gotta reinforce that area. Go on, Miss Pris. Get your babies. Get your babies somewhere safe. There you go. There you go, good girls. And maybe boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, my nose is so shiny. Anyway, it rained most of the day today. So I ended up going into town because it was cool and I could take Papa with me and leave him in the truck and nobody would complain and he wouldn't, you know, suffer. So I went to the dollar store and I bought, well, here, let me show you. I got some lavender essential oil and it says it's 100% pure. It was only a buck, but it does smell like lavender. So I am also adding this to the bug spray and the bug spray is complete. Let me show you. Here it is. It's all mixed up. And you can see at the top, the coconut oil kind of settles a little bit. This is a big bottle, also gotten from the dollar store. So I'm going to try this out, see if it works. Now, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to try it out because um, the lemongrass essential oil that Doreen sent me, I actually took a suggestion from her and put some on Papa's collar. And he smells so good. And he doesn't seem bothered by it. So I'm going to see if that keeps the ticks off him. And at least until tomorrow and then I well I'm definitely gonna start using this tomorrow on myself I went and sprayed myself down with that toxic deed stuff so um, I'll be fine until tomorrow with that but this you guys smells so good I've got the lavender oil in it I've got the lemongrass oil in it I'm not gonna give you guys the recipe until I've tried it out and I know whether or not it works and if I do, I will do an official DIY video. I didn't do a DIY video for the playlist on my last bug spray because I wasn't sure if it's going to work. And it does work. Uh, the old bug spray that I had did work. It worked, but you had to keep reapplying it every, you know, hour or two. So we're going to see if this works. And then if it does, I'm going to, well, let you know how I did it. I also went foraging and I found a whole mess of central mushrooms and I also found a whole bunch of ripened blackberries. So you know what I did? I'm making blackberry liqueur. Oh, the sugar is still settling at the bottom. I got to keep shaking it up. Yep. All this is is harvested blackberries that are ripe, um, sugar, and vodka. <laughs> It's going to be delicious, but I got to let it set for a few weeks um, so that the flavors can infuse. I may add a few more blackberries in there too, but I think this is going to be great. Hey chickens, what's up? You out? Now that it's not raining anymore, I've got to go check the rain barrels. Oh, my little pond is filling up. Well, it looks like this is over half full, and this is even more full than that. So these two barrels had a horrible algae bloom in them. So what I did is I added some bleach to each one. It has killed all of the algae. You can see all the way down to the bottom. So, you know, you wouldn't think that algae would grow in black, you know, things, but the sun would beat down on top and get in through the top. So what I do is I just take this when it's not raining and I cover both of these up so that sun can't get in through the top. And that seems to be working, which is great because I really, really needed the water from these two barrels in addition to everything else because, well, the more water, the better. Oh, let's see here how much we got going on in here. This was basically empty. And we've got, we've got about half. This is about half full right now, so that's good. This over here, let's see here. Um, it was down to about right here, uh, which was about a little bit less than half. And now it's up to here. Yep. So that's about two-thirds full. I'm thrilled. I'm happy. Everybody on my homestead is happy. The chickens are happy. I've got water. My plants are growing. I'll tell you what, I think this off-grid life suits me. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.